Ok, welcome Salma, Thank nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, we're very happy to have you here as our guest. Uh, this is going to be an interview. Uh, the two girls are going to ask you some questions. This is part of our Erasmus Plus project. And we're preparing now an interview with women in leadership, as you are. Uh, and we're going to show it to people from six other countries. And it's going to be shown in Portugal. So your voice and uh, image will be taken to Portugal by us. Oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you very much, thank you. Um, hi, Sarah. Hi. If you had to describe your job in three words, what would they be? Well, uh, joy, excitement and responsibility, I think. Okay, um, it is known that women usually work more than men to gain leadership. Do you find that this is your case? Yes, I do. Uh, because if you are a woman, you have to assert yourself. Uh, you have to be better, you have to be stronger, and you have to make your voice heard. If you have any male employees, how do they relate to you and your work? Well, first, it was not so good but they have been knowing me now for 10 years, I guess. And leading by example, um, I think it's the best way for men to look at you um, and see you being strong, assertive, and um, well, they know, I guess, they like me, and they appreciate my uh, skills, let's say. Um, in your workspace, do you find that work is uh, equally distributed between men and women? Well, no. Because we have here three levels, right? You have first level, which are CEOs and CFOs, uh, and they're mostly, mainly men, right? And then you have the second level, which is the majority of the employees. And this second level, it, it's much more democratic, let's say so. And the work is distributed equal this, in this second level. And the third one is the lowest one. When you have cleaning person, no, it's a cleaning lady. When you have drivers, and it's always men. And it's more traditional, you know? This is the, the third level. Yeah. In your experience, is it easier to make your voice heard as a man? Ah, in my experience, if you are a woman and you have a strong voice, there are two possibilities. You are in the in the best one, in the best case scenario, you are a good leader, or in the worst case scenario, you are a bossy leader which is not good. Uh, do you believe that social media has an important influence on gender equality? Yes, it has. But this influence is good and bad. The good one is you can make your voice heard immediately, in a matter of seconds. And you can share your ideas, opinions with everybody instantly. And the worst scenario, the worst case scenario, is that the same social media is a tool um, for fake news, hate speech, and so on. You have to be very careful. Well, what should the education system do to support gender equality? A lot. Um, first, government. Uh, we should have, I guess, um, a school curricula to support this kind of gender equality studies. In Romania, I don't know if we have such things in our school books. I don't think so. Yeah, and then you have the second level, our teachers and students. Yes, our teacher have to be aware that there are issues between dealing, in dealing with boys and girls, still are issues. And these issues have to be addressed somehow. 
Well, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. It has been nice talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. And good luck. Thank you. Thank you.